Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm working on a portrait of Gary and Shrimpy. And Gary passed away earlier this year. And Gina, one of my wonderful collectors, is asking has asked me to do this portrait of him and his favorite dog, Shrimpy, to give to his wife. So I just, this is a special painting. Gina sent me a picture of Gary and Shrimpy in his office. And he was quite a horseman. He was a sheriff. And you can see, I've shown you that in the very beginning. He's got all kinds of equestrian pictures on the walls. But we're moving him outside to their land in North Carolina. And that's what this picture is here. This is from the, they're, we're building a retirement home there and um, Holly's going to continue with that. And so I'm putting him out on the deck. Gina asked could I work some sunflowers into the painting. So he's on the deck in an Adirondack chair, taking him out of his office chair, put him in an Adirondack chair, and we're gonna have sunflowers behind him. So that's what I'm painting now. I also showed you my paint mixtures. And so now I start blocking these in. The trees behind Gary and Shrimpy are still wet, so I have to be very careful laying my color in because my brush, you can see it picks up some of those greens, so I have to keep wiping my brush. These are various mixtures of cadmium orange plus alizarin crimson plus a little bit of cadmium red light, and then I've got cadmium yellow medium plus a little bit of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. Then I've also got just pure cadmium yellow medium and then I also have some cadmium yellow medium plus lemon yellow. Now here I'm coming back in that these are some of the greens from the trees behind, behind them. And so I, you can see this bright brush, it's got square corners, and so it's very easy to go in and work around uh, to make small detail, details. I can work in between these petals of the sunflowers. And, so I love these brushes, they're just very versatile. You can use the flat edge to paint large areas, or you can use the corners to, to make details. So I block in my petals of the sunflowers first. And I want this one back just a little bit so you just get a hint of that porch railing behind. We don't want the, you know, it just doesn't have to be hugely in there, but we want enough in there to just get the feeling that they're sitting out on the deck. It's sunset and just a beautiful evening. And so that's that's what's happening here. That's That's our setting. I had to go on Google and find, get, look, just look for some pictures. I just Googled man sitting in Adirondack chair because it, to make his body position in that chair was a little different from the way it was in his office chair. So I had to make some adjustments there. I also had to make some adjustments for the foreshortening in the photograph. Anytime you're working from for photographs, you have to be very, very careful about foreshortening. Like this this photograph, Shrimpy's muzzle was just way too big. In fact, his muzzle almost looked like a Great Dane, the way it was so big, because the camera was closer to him. So that's, that's why I, you just have to be very, very careful and make adjustments. Now here's some of my leaves from the, the sunflowers. Now my mixtures in the back are cool greens made of phthalo blue, plus a little bit of cadmium orange, plus cadmium yellow medium, plus white. And then these greens are made with ultramarine blue, plus lemon yellow. So they're a little bit warmer, and they come forward. This is just a dark made of my phthalo blue, plus liquid. But I'm going to have these. The chair is going to be dark. It's just a natural wood. So I've just got some light there to, to have the light hitting right behind there. Again, I'm going to shape this leaf a little bit with some dark behind it. Let's 
So I just kind of lay this color on. Now I want this blossom back here. I don't want this to be real bright because it would jump forward of, of Gary's face, Shrimpy's face. So this one's going to be, it's too bright. This one's going to be a little more subdued. I want it back there to get the feeling, to give the depth of these flowers behind, but I don't want it real prominent. Gary's shirt's going to be blue, so this gives this red orange gives a nice, nice contrast behind that blue. Chair is going to be dark, so I am going to let some of this, these brighter colors come in behind that, so it just helps delineate that. And then these back here are in shadow, so they're darker. And again, I use variations. I use various mixes. They're just not all the same yellow or, or orange. We've got one back here, and again, this is behind his blue shirt. So that'll make that blue. Blue orange is the complement to blue. So this yellow, orange, red will just make that shirt appear brighter, make it come forward too. Again, I want this to just be, I want it there, but not just jumping out at you. a little bit of light hitting right here. I'm going to have to put that center in, so I'm not going to do a whole bunch, but just a little bit. Now I'm coming back. Now so let's put these leaves around the, the foliage around these sunflowers back here. Again, this is just... Now see how my brush picked up that yellow? So I have to keep wiping my brush. Get some dark in here behind that blossom. going to have this dark back here. I'll sign it in this corner. So I just want this to be pretty dark. Nondescript. I usually sign my paintings in red, so I, li I like to do them over the red, over the green. It just makes a nice, shows the red well without just standing out too much. Okay, let's put the centers in those flowers. Now for the centers, I use a mixture of my mud plus liquid. And this is, I'm using my mall stick, this, this hooks over the top of my easel, and I can just brace my hand on this. So that makes it very easy to put these in. You can see as I do this that my brush picks up some of the yellows from the flower, which is good because it warms that center a little bit. I don't want it just a solid black hole in the middle of the flowers. Some texture. And these flowers are in perspective, so the centers as the flowers turn, they become more oval as they come close, as they, as the flowers turn around towards you, the centers become more circular, more round. This one's behind, behind Shrimpy. Now I drew these in, I drew my sketch up there with a mixture of my mud plus liquid. Did that in my previous session, so it's dry now. So I can come back where this color has come over the my sketch with a clean brush. I just wipe, swish it out in my thinner, my turpenoid odorless paint thinner, and I can just come back and reestablish my sketch there. That's the nice thing about sketching this up and letting it dry, then 
anywhere I go over the sketch, I can come back and just erase it. Brush clean. As you can see, once I get those centers in there, that, that's sunflowers. See, that's very easy then to erase that. And then Gary's light comes out here. This is the chair. And the arm of the chair goes there. So let's get this center in up here. Again, this is oval shaped because the flower's at an angle to us. Now the centers of these dark centers are darker. The seeds are more compact in that central part, so it is a little bit darker. I'm even going to take some of my yellow-orange here and just soft, make that a little browner. And as the center comes around, it gets darker around the edges. And these I can also do the same thing, it's just make these a little bit more golden brown. Do these back here. Now this flower here is a little more toward us, turning toward us, so the flower is rounder, the, the center part is rounder. Again, I'm going to just make this a little bit browner, and also this one. like to, even though sunflowers are basically yellow, I like to add a little red in there just to, just, I guess that's just my special touch. Now let's add some highlights on these here in the foreground. Again, I can take my bright brush, I just put paint on the corners, and I can just highlight some of those petals. Notice I have to clean my brush each time because it picks up some of that green. There. Now as it goes around that way, I'm going to get these. These are cadmium red medium. That other one's cadmium red medium plus lemon yellow. Again, this is cadmium yellow medium plus lemon yellow. Here's the pure cadmium yellow medium. And so you can see the brush has picked up a little green, so I have to, be, have to keep wiping it. And then after I've done that, I have to come back and reshape my, my center, where this comes up in front of those petals. So that's how I do the sunflowers. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. And please visit my blog. I show the step-by-step -step process of this painting. I know many of you have asked me, oh, well, I love this painting, but how do, where do I see the rest of it? I want to see it finished. And if you will just go to my blog, the link is in the description below, you'll see the complete step-by-step -step painting process of this piece, as well as others I do. And just you can also subscribe to my blog as well as my YouTube videos. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Always feel free to ask questions in the comments section. And just happy painting.